Hi everybody, it's Christopher and Jade and Tabby here and Trav in the other room and we are going to be making something from this book, Circle Round, to celebrate Beltane and it's Beltane Spiral Goddesses and Christopher, you can't, don't need to be touching that. And basically what I've done so far is I've added one tablespoon of dry yeast to one fourth cup of warm water and added a pinch of sugar. I put it aside to let it um, do its thing. And then in this bowl, which is our mixing bowl, um, we basically added, well, the recipe calls for eight tablespoons of butter, but I didn't have table, uh, butter, so I actually used canola oil and two-thirds cup of brown sugar. Again, I didn't have enough brown sugar, so I used um, about a third yeah, 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 yeah. of, um, I used one-third yeah, yeah, of brown yeah, yeah, sugar yeah, yeah, yeah. and another third yeah, 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 yeah. of organic pure cane sugar. And put that in there and then um, mixed it um, added one egg at a time. It recipe calls for three eggs. So one at a time and we mixed it. And one cup of milk at room temperature. One tablespoon of orange zest minced and put in there as well. Now I'm about ready to get the yeast mixture out of the microwave. I didn't microwave it. I just kept it in there. Oh my goodness. So it gets all frothy like this. And then I believe we add it to this. Let's see. Yep, we add the yeast mixture straight to our cup here. Stop. Stop. Thank you, Trav. Can you hold the book up for me? Thank you. And so we add it to our mixture here. And we mix it. You can smell that yeast. And now it calls for a pinch of salt. So let me find my sea salt. She uses sea salt. Ah, no, 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 stop. And we add a pinch of salt to our goddess spirals. And we mix it up some more. Yay. So Trav is going to be mixing now because we're going to be adding the flour. I like to use, it calls for all purpose. The kind I use is organic, unbleached, all purpose flour. And we add in the first three cups, one cup at a time. So, okay, you want to do it? Come, you, you need to get closer. You're too far. Get up. Okay, see, you're see, you're spilling it. Okay, a little bit. I think this is why it wanted us to use a oh, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's it. No more. We're done with the flour. That's it for now. Okay. We are flouring our hands because we're about ready to knead our dough. Watch out. Move your hands for a sec. Hang on, now I gotta separate it into groups so you guys can knead. One for Tabby, one for Trav, and one for me. And just like we did the bread, guys, it's gonna be a little stickier. Hang on, let me pour some flour on top of it. We, now, when you're working with a sweet dough, you definitely do not want to over knead it because instead of flaky and it gets really stiff. So we knead it, but we don't knead it as long as we do bread. You got it? Got it. Basically, we knead it enough just to mix everything up all nice and good. Huh. And... If it starts to get a little sticky, mm, I can actually smell the orange in it. It smells so yummy. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is put our dough into a greased, oiled pan and put it in a warm place so it can double in size. And so we're going to do that real fast. Well, it'll probably take a good 60, 30 to 60 minutes. 
and then we're gonna finish. So, say hi. Hi. You guys gonna say hi? Hi. Hola. So while our um, goddess built-in goddess spirals are rising, we decided to make our very own maple. So it's made out of this lamp post. And the thing about these lamp posts is you need to get down, sweetie. Down. These lamp posts, the city, they don't use anymore. They're the original lamp posts. Um, now, if you look over here, that's what the lamp posts that they use now. Um, so we are going to decorate this one. Look at all the ribbon. It's pretty. And it's going to be our maple. And Christopher just loves it. It's so... We're going to make a maple. Other way, Tabby. Wrong way. Go that way. You guys could go opposite. We're not doing anything but fancy, but... Can you move your... Look, it's pretty. Pretty ribbon. Can you move your... Oh, is the tape in the way? Yeah, I have to <laughs> All right. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's our maple. Yep, it kind of does. Okay, let me know when you're done. And then we're just gonna tape the bottoms. Try to make the ribbon so that way it lasts all the way down to the bottom. And it's our maple. Yay. Isn't it pretty? Yay. You say hi. So we kneaded our dough out and we took 60% uh, of it and rolled it into a two inch log and then made the spiral. And then 40% of it, we took a part out probably about the size of a small softball and made, well, no, more like a baseball. Softballs are pretty big. And we made the head, and then we formed the body. And this is our spiral goddess bread. Uh, right now, we are going to put it in the oven on warm so it could rise a little more. And then we will bake it. So our bread is finally done. And it looks wonderful. As soon as it came out of the oven, what I did was I made a glaze, which consisted of two tablespoons of melted butter, one half cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of honey, and one egg white. And when it comes out of the oven, while the loaf is still soft, you basically you sprinkle the, or you, you put the, the glaze, um, spread the glaze over the bread, and you could sprinkle it with nuts. I decided not to sprinkle it with nuts. I put um, almond extract in the bread. And this is what it looks like. It looks so yummy. I can't wait to eat it. So, you guys, I hope you guys have had a wonderful uh, Beltane. And blessed be. And I'll talk to you guys soon.